So the properties of quadrilaterals is not so much that knowing them will help you for the rest of your life, but it's about being able to critically look at something, analyze it, and pull out important characteristics. So if we just look at a simple quadrilateral, well, yeah, and you know, lots of things are built out of quadrilaterals, but you know, if you don't go into engineering, drafting, design, architecture, this won't be your career but you always have to analyze things to find critical components. So let's just start with a general quadrilateral because it doesn't really have a lot of properties. So quadrilateral, the name says it's got four sides. So that would be property one. Now, polygons, quadrilaterals, it's based on their sides and their angles. So we want to look at their sides and their angles. So over here are the, the sides, the segments, and here are the angles, and here... On the bottom left, I asked it to add up all the angles. If you can look right below my cursor, whoop, there it went. Um, it says that equals alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta. Yeah, those are Greek letters, and Greek letters are what we use for angles. So anything the same, anything special standing out? Well, if I grab a move, you know, watch all the sides. Anything come the same? Anything come special? Um, yeah, nothing. You know, the angles are just angles. Nothing ever comes the same. I mean, it might come the same once, but you know, by gr grabbing this and dragging this, I can go through, you know, just tons of examples because properties have to apply to every single case. Um, angles, none of them are the same, but notice that I think at the bottom left, it always stays 360. So that's one of the properties of a quadrilateral. The angles always add up to 360. And that's pretty much the biggest property of a quadrilateral. Now, there's another thing called diagonals, which are these line segments that go across. And as you can see, there's nothing special about them. They're not the same. Um, they don't cut each other in half. I mean, they might get perp. Uh, some certain things might happen in a special case. And guess what? We call those special cases other shapes. So we're going to be looking at sides, angles, and then we'll be looking at these diagonals. So properties of a quadrilateral. Four sides and all the angles add up to 360. That's it. Now we'll go to special ones.